no matter what you're talking about in terms of the greatest challenges our ocean faces, whether it's ocean acidification, whether it's marine mammal monitoring, whether it's national security and defense, the main need in all those areas is data. And, and the main problem is, is that data right now when it's in the ocean, it's expensive, it's dangerous, and in some situations it's just impossible to gather. Uh, the wave glider changes that by being the first marine vehicle that's persistent and wave powered, meaning it doesn't need any fuel, has zero emissions, and it doesn't need any crew. It's revolutionizing the cost of gathering this data, and that data is going to improve our understanding of the ocean and serve a variety of needs. The main unique thing about the wave glider is its wave propulsion system. So if you look at it right now, it's a two-part system. Um, this float is about surfboard size. It's on the surface the entire time. And then it's connected via an umbilical to this set of glider wings. So when it's deployed, this is 21 feet, 7 meters below the float. And whatever direction this float gets moved on the ocean surface, it just has to be getting moved. And luckily, there's almost always movement on this ocean surface. If this is just getting moved by any waves, whether they're a one-foot wave or a 20-foot wave, it's causing these glider wings to actuate. So it causes the glider wings to go up and down with the motion of the ocean surface. And consequently, the vehicle propels itself at a knot and a half to two and a half knots forever. And then for communication, it uses solar power to power its electronic system and its satellite communication system. So again, without any need for fuel, uh, without any need for emissions, it's communicating the data it's collecting real time, and it knows where it is in the ocean at all times. Well, first off, it's viable. Uh, as you can see, this is not just a drawing on someone's notepad. This exists, it's operational, um, it's, we're engaged with the leading organizations in oceanographic and environmental research, both in academia and with the government. And we're also engaged in a variety of commercial applications, both with uh, national defense and other industries. It will really revolutionize our understanding of the ocean. Um, and not only will it do that on an environmental front, but it will also promote a variety of national security interests, both domestically and abroad. So it's a, a really unique platform in that it's serving a wide variety of ocean needs. Interestingly enough, the biggest single thing we need is for the imagination of people engaged in marine research questions and marine policy. We need their imagination to catch up with the capabilities of the wave glider. The wave glider is such a unique, innovative platform that it's allowing us to address questions, address needs that people thought were never possible. So we need to spread the word about the fact that this platform is real and we need to increase the understanding of all the different types of applications that the platform can support. We're really excited to work with Savannah Ocean Exchange. It's such an outstanding example of a much needed arena to discuss ideas and communicate new concepts and communicate those concepts to the broader ocean community. And what we would like to do is to continue to share all the information that we're going to gather from our missions in the future and just develop a long-term relationship with the Ocean Exchange so that we can hopefully help other solutions like this succeed.